He is examining one of the framed photographs on display, but quickly returns it to the shelf as Martin answers. Wasn't sure whether I'd see you here today or not. Oh, I can leave. Come on, man. That's not what I meant. Look, I just thought you might have forgotten to pick me up or something. No, you thought I left your ass here to get back to the campus the best way you could. Okay. And I should have. You know, you didn't have any problem saying what you meant last night. So don't stop now. All I said last night was that you need to try and be a little bit more discreet. That's a joke coming from you. You wouldn't know discretion if someone glued it to your jock strap. <laughs> Hell, if I wasn't discreet, I'd have made it in time for your little media event provided some real color commentary. <laughs> You know, I wasn't worried about that. And I'm not worried about you. See, nobody's gonna clock you. But you have to admit that some of those guys you've been hanging out with lately, man, they seem kind of out there. Why? Because they're willing to stand up for themselves and not be intimidated by any of these religious reactionaries or, 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 or hip-hop hypocrites or any of these uh, pseudo-nationalist bullies at school? Man, if I had a dollar for every brother out in court cruising off campus that house, mm -hmm. I didn't have to worry about that. Hello. Hello. All right. Or student loans. My parents wouldn't have to worry about this little work job. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, what's with all the meetings at Blackburn? And the demonstrations? I just don't see where it takes all that to be accepted. Mark. Man, I don't care about being accepted by a bunch of homophobic assholes. But I refuse to be ignored or remain unacknowledged. Hell, we pay student activity fees just like everybody else. And they better start recognizing. Oh, is, is that why you're hanging with that bunch of misfits? So you can be recognized? Oh, I don't need that kind of attention. I, I've even seen them carry on and break in the chapel. Hand up with the gym. Marty, how would you know what they do? Unless you compete with the car and kill. See, you win. You win. I can't talk to you when you get like this. Oh, well, would it be easier for us to communicate if you met the chat in first? Oh, you heard what I said. Look, I, I don't know what your little spies have been no, telling you. Don't flatter yourself. I haven't forgotten how old we met. Oh, man. <laughs> that again. Am I ever going to live that down? I haven't been over there in ages. Not that I wouldn't be justified. Martin, please. If you haven't been cruising the dessert stacks and found this lady. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> it's only because <laughs> It's only because you discovered that and it went to side space. You know, you really ought to be careful about leaving the computer on with the name of Oh. No, I don't have time for your bullshit anymore. Well, what the hell do you expect me to do? I can't be your conscience, Martin. But I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Oh. It should be in excellent shape, because you rarely use it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you'd be satisfied if I out of myself. Destroy my career, my family. <laughs> I probably won't even be able to coach a junior high school there. Don't you get it? Follow me. I'm this close to competing in the Olympics, maybe even getting a gold medal. And who knows, if I don't take Howard to the NCAA championships next year, it will only be because I got drafted into the NBA. Now, you really want me to risk all that, the contract, the endorsements, the security, just so you can hold your head up around your little fairy dust friends? I can't afford to jeopardize my future to become a poster boy for the radical faggots of Howard University. I got too much to lose. You know what? The only person losing a lot more than you think. People who try to be everything to everybody usually wind up being nothing. You know what I mean? All right. You can never leave me halfway. It's either all or nothing. If those are the two options I'm given, then I have to make that choice. Haven't you ever heard of compromise? Martin, I think you've compromised enough for the both of us. Oh, call me. You know, so that's easy for you to say. Your aunt is up in Jersey. Yeah, she'll never know that her precious little nephew is down there acting up in Washington. Unless she sees you on the evening news. Mm -hmm. You know what? 
if you don't stay away from the Latino party, <laughs> the campus glory holes, <laughs> your exports have been boycotted way before mine. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the sports set. <laughs> well, for the record, just who named you role model for the militant black gay college students? Before you met me at the Penn Village three years ago, he never even had sex with a dude before. That doesn't mean I hadn't thought about it. Yeah, and if I hadn't come along and rocked your world, <laughs> you still be sitting there thinking about it. having sex with females. Man, you'd still be straight. I wasn't straight then. Yeah. I just was celibate. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not, but I'm the one you'll always remember. 